but the employment words that we had, but just, I'm not going to go through all of them, but these often get us mixed up a little bit, so we want to make sure that we know
unemployed. This is the adjective or past tense. He is unemployed. Unemployed person. Unemployed workers. So this is the edge. So this word comes up a lot. And the other one I wanted to. Did we all get this? For those of you that wanted. Mary, you want to take a picture? Yes. Yeah. So Monday. So we. 
Yeah, Monday. Yeah. Monday and then Tuesday, 19 and 20. Yeah, I'll remind you, uh, there is no school in Hamp Trap on Tuesday. Then there will be, uh, in March, some days off for a winter break. The school does some things and they close down. And then in April, again, then I'm not sure about in May, but Eid is in May. Anybody know the dates of Eid? This year? Eid? Eid. 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 Muslim? Holiday. Eight. Is Eid in May? No, I think it's April. April? I think April. Okay. I have, to, I have to check to see when those dates are, but I'll keep you informed of the dates. Um, so today uh, we're about halfway done with winter. Um, how are we liking winter? How do you like winter? You like it? Anyone else like winter? Yeah. No. Um, it will begin to uh, will begin to warm up a little bit, but we have six more weeks of winter left, so I expect we will still have more cold, snowy, frosty days coming ahead. Um, uh, I want to start off with some grammar, and did you all get this one? This is a lot of this is review of what we've done, but I but I want to do it anyway. Um, it says unified health. And uh, you will see here uh, more modals and related expressions. We talked about could, should, must. These are modals. And uh, the examples here at the top, and then for part A, let's go down here to part A, and it says, there's A, B, C, and D. You'll notice there, um, A, to show necessity or prohibition. We did this. To give it, to, and we're going to review. I have a lot of new students, so it should go pretty quickly. To give advice, to give warning, to tell people about a rule. So let's go up here and uh, uh, we'll have, we'll start at the back here. Shake, read for us on here the example at the top on the page 39 at the top. You must at the top of page 39. Did you see it? Do you have this? Well, that would help, wouldn't it? Do you have one? No. Oh, and nobody has one. Oh, I'm sorry. 39. Okay. Sorry. Jake, you start us off. You must see a doctor in very sick. So very sick. Must show that something is necessary. 
necessary. Keep going. You must not take a pencil. You must not choose prohibition. Prohibit. Prohibition. 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 Something is is again the the law or dangerous. Uh, must not. Must not. Must not is a prohibition. Is to stop someone. So we prohibition is a noun, a thing. T I O N. Shun. The verb is prohibit. Yes. The library can prohibit people from smoking. Stop. Not allowed. Keep going. He should not eat so much. He'll get fat. You you should and should not to give advice. Should is that advice word. Good idea. Advice, good idea. Uh, Mahawia, take the next one. Mahawia. 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 I'll get it, Mahawia. Uh, we had better not be later for our appointment. Uh, we as uh, had better not to give warning. Do the whole thing over again. One more time. Let me hear you. Uh, we had better not be late for be late. Be late for our our point term. Uh, as had use 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 had better uh, not to give warning. To give what? Warning. Warnings. Notice here, these are stuck together phrases. Had better not. You better be on time. What does that mean? If your boss says to you, you better be on time. If your boss says, you better be here at 8 o'clock, what does that mean? It means something not good will happen if you're not there. So if I said, you better not, what does that mean? It's something not good might happen if you do that. So if you say to someone, oh, this is very hot. You better not touch that. It's saying what? I'm warning you, something bad can happen. Better not. So sometimes it's a very better not, better is used as a phrase. We know the word better, right? Say it better, you can say, oh, they must have 
must be very careful about their conics. But we say better. So when we're using this expression, we say we better do something or we better not do something. These, this is a warning. Uh, keep going, Mahawia. Uh, it's not uh, uh, supposed, to supposed. Live, uh, supposed to live uh, until a fire. Until what? It's not uh, suppo supposed to live until five. Until five. Yeah. Until. Until five. Okay. On the right you hand side. support not to and uh, not support uh, to to tell other people about our road. Okay. So <clears throat> these are sort of related, but a little different. Better and better not has a little warning to it. It means something not good can happen. But supposed to and not supposed to is following the rule. So when we come in in the morning, we're supposed to fill out our attendance sheet. It's just something that we do. That's kind of the rule. We fill out the attendance sheet, supposed to. Not supposed to is something that's against the rule. You are not supposed to smoke cigarettes in a public setting, in public. That's the rule. So take it down, down here on part A and uh, fill in A, B, C, or D for each of those eight examples. Decide if it's necessity or prohibition. The necessity means you must Prohibition, prohibition means you must not. Give advice is the should. To give warning is better or better not. About a rule is supposed to or not supposed to. So I'll give you a minute to do A, B, C, and D. And if you finish that, if you've already done it, go ahead down to part B and answer the question using using one of these. And then we're going to go through these in a second.
seizure. Uh, when your nerves go crazy, people that have seizures kind of uh, can't stop and then they pass out. this together and uh, we'll come to some agreement and uh, uh, do the example uh, Shahan if you read that for us example yes you are supposed to take your vitamins every day okay. and what is that you tell people about their rule okay. uh, here in the USA it's vitamin Vitamins. Yeah. That's how it's usually pronounced. Yeah. 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 And do number one also. Yeah. You would better not smoke or you will get sick. Maybe it's uh, to give a warning. It's a warning. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. His burn number two. Yeah. I think you should exercise more. Uh, I think you should exercise more. Uh, advice. Uh, to give advice. Advice. Yeah. Very good. Next one too. Uh, number three. Number three. Your blood pressure is too high. You must learn to relax. Uh, you to Number eight, to show necessary. Necessity. Necessity. Very good. You too, number uh, four. You are not supposed to take the towels when you go home for the hospital. hospital. D. D. It's the rule. And number five also. Number five. You should. You should uh, probably go on a diet. I think we. Good idea. Okay. Number six. The lungs are terrible. Terrible. You must stop smoking. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Must. Yeah. A is better. Yeah. Must is a, must is necessary. Yeah. Okay, yes, ma'am. You have better not for the take your medication of your if if your friend then we. Read, read it one more time, Jasmine. The whole thing again, just. You have better not for the take your medication. If you went to get weak. well. Well. Want to get well. Ah, and then at. Want well. 
What's that? C. 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 B. Which one? B. C. 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 Better not. To be a warning. It's a warning. Yeah, yeah. There's a, there's a, there's a very strong component to better not. That's like, you better not because something bad will happen. Okay. Better not. You better or better not. Uh, number eight, Mahara. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. You must not drive a car. You might have a very serious seizure. 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 What? Which letter? A. Seizure. What? Do you know seizure? The seizure is like. Uh, a tangle of your nerves in your brain that someone loses consciousness and they start shaking perhaps or pass out. Uh, seizure. Seizure. Z U R E. Seizure. Uh, uh, did we have a question about uh, something that somebody started to talk? All right, let's go down here to um, part B, and these are questions. And so, notice they all start with can. That's kind of a lead up to what we've talked about before. These questions, yes. starting with can, mean that the answer will begin with a yes, or a no. no. And so the first one is done for us. And uh, uh, the example, um, uh, to, uh, no, oh my goodness. Taslima. Taslima? Taslima's over here. No, I've got you mixed up. Um, I have to find your name. Aisha. Aisha. Oh, there we are. I didn't even see it. Aisha and the kid here. Aisha. I'm sorry. Does Liam I know you? Aisha, go ahead. No, the example for us, please. So the answer is. Okay. Doing number one also, Aisha. Can we can we No, no, what? One more time so I can hear. No. No, we. Can no. No. Not supposed. No. No. It's it's giving you the supposed to. No, we. Cannot. Not cannot, but. Are not supposed to. Notice they're giving you in the in the parentheses. They want us to use the not supposed to instead of can. So, number one, can we visit Darla yet? No, we are not. Yeah, if, you, if you said, can we visit, and you said, no, you are not supposed to, that, that would be more, uh, a better answer. If you said, we, it means that it's part, we would be also acceptable. Uh, what is that word yet? No. 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 It's like now. So um, we would use <coughs> it, uh, it 
it's a time word. It means now and in the future, in front of, not in the past. Uh, so let's go here to number two. And Nadira? Can I take your meditation? No, no. 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 I take your. No. I must. No. I take. Now, this is a conversation. These are conversations. So it's going to be. Uh, I and you. I and you. We and. We and you sometimes, but uh, I and you is pretty in a conversation. Can I talk to you? No, you must not. No, no you must not. Yes. So number, number, uh, Nadira, take a look here at number two. The question is, can I take your medication? I'm talking to Nadira. No, I... And then Nadira, Nadira says to me, no, you must not. Take me must not. So it's a conversation. We have to kind of keep track of that. Kadir, next one. Yes, he should. Yes, he should. No. I said, can I start smoking? Okay. And then I said, can I start smoking again? Are they different? Yeah. What does that mean? Stop smoking. Stop smoking. Stop smoking. No. Come back to smoking. Yeah. Come back it means that we, if someone says again, it means they did it before. Yeah. They quit for some time. It's something that is not said in here, but we can figure that out. Again. Okay. Um, next one. Said. Can my pregnant sister bring you? No. 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 She must not. She must not. No. She must not. Okay. 
Let's uh, flip this over to uh, take a look here. Future conditional statements using if. Uh, Before we start, we'll notice this if clause. Notice it says here, if you smoke, then the next one, if you don't exercise. It goes in the front, followed by a comma. Notice we could say this another way. You will get lung cancer if you smoke. You don't need a comma. But when you have this phrase in the front, this clause in the front, it takes a comma. So you, if you forget it in your writing, not the worst thing, but it should be there. So uh, uh, Saeed, read for us the box up there. If you... If you smoke, you will get Lung cancer. cancer. Lung cancer. Notice cancer. C A. C E R. Sir. The C. Cut. So go ahead. Say. If you don't exercise, you will gain weight. Keep going. Use a future and conditional statement to connect a cause in a field. The if clause. clause is in the present tense in the affect. Clause is in the future tense. Use a comma after the if clause. Clause with it comes first. If you exercise every day, you will develop strong muscles. If you do you not use a comma with the if plus comes second, you will develop strong muscles if you exercise every day. Very good. Okay. Um, Take a look down here at part A, and I'll give you a few minutes. And uh, what, to, what to remember here about this, I'll put this in the front. in front. Okay. I could put it at the end. But notice if you come present tense come. I can't spell today. Future tense. Present and future. That's how these are set up. Um, so take a look here at uh, 1 through 8. And then if you finish that, go ahead with part B and fill this out. Give me five minutes. Okay. I'll be right back. You can help each other. You can... You can take a break, you can take a nap, and I'll be back in a few minutes. It is the bathroom.
Okay, um, if you're not finished, that's okay. We'll go through this and then uh, we'll do some reading. Uh, Shitang Shu, start us off with reading the example. Develop. 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 Wait, wait. Develop. Develop. 
Notice she eats too much sugar. They changed will eat to the present tense if she eats. Remember our rule, if clause gets present tense, the next part gets the uh, future tense. Uh, do number one as well, she comes you. If Ali becomes a dentist, mm -hmm. a lot of money. He will, he will make. He will make, he will make. Yeah. future tense. You see makes, that's the verb, yeah. will make a lot of money. Uh, number two, Muhammad. Uh, Bola. Ma Paolo. Paolo. Paolo will hurt his ankle. 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 If he runs too far. If he runs too far. Notice where run. it says will run. That's future tense. We don't want that. It's going to be if he runs too far. It have to be in present tense. Uh, notice the word Paolo. You see Paolo? This is uh, in the Spanish language. Uh, a lot of languages do this. Paula and Paolo. Man and woman. Or the other way around. The O ending usually man, male. A ending female. Oh. What is an ankle? Ankle. Ankle. Legs. Which part of your leg? Middle. Right here? Yeah. No, no, no. Down. 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 Yes. The foot to leg is the ankle. Okay. Uncle. What's an uncle? Uncle. Uncle. Brother. What? Brother or what? Brother. Small brother. Yeah. No. No. What is an uncle? Brother. Brother. Dead. What? Brother. Dead. Your, your, mother. your mother or father have siblings, brothers and sisters. They are your uncle. Uncle. Same song. Ankle. Ankle. Uncle. Ankle, uncle. One has an A, the other one has a U. Uh, also, in many cultures, many cultures, that a, a person who's a good friend of the family, an older male person, friend of the family, many people give a title of respect to that person and say, uncle. Yes. Even though it's not really part of your family. Uncle. Yes. Auntie and uncle. Uh, so, where are we? Number uh, bu, 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 three, Mohammed. Beta will again wait. Wait, wait, start again. Beta. Peter. Peter. Notice that's not a B, it's a P. Peter. 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 Will again wait. Not, look at that word, G. Wait. Will die. Gain. 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 Wait, wait. Ga. Gay. Ga, ga, ga. Gain. Peter will gain weight if he will eat. If he eats a large serving of food, a very meal. At what? At very meal. Every meal. Every meal. No, every meal. We have to take a look here. Every meal. We have to pay attention. 
pay attention to the beginnings of the words yeah. to make sure we get these vowels here again. One more time. Again. It has nothing to do with this. This one means another time. This one means increase. More. Increase. We've got to make sure we do something with these letters. And notice here, got Mohammed, got no, got got like goat, like again, 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 gain, gain, wrong a sound. Notice here, if you say again, okay, but usually Americans say again, again. This one, gain. Your doctor will say to you, please don't gain weight. That means more weight. Gain. Put on. I want you to come to school again. Another time. Again. If you said again, that's okay, but usually Americans say again. It's the way we we do it here in the good old U.S. of A. Uh, okay, uh, where are we? Number four. Number four, Number four yeah. Want to take that one? Yes. Mm. If you be an understood return, you will work with mothers and babies. Almost. No. If you, if you be. Without, without. What's the <coughs> present tense of be for you? If you are. Are. If you are. If you are an obstetrician. 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 You all work with mothers and babies. We all know obstetrician. What is an obstetrician? Doctor. Baby. Mothers and babies, it's a clue. Doctor, mothers, for what? For mothers and children. An obstetrician is usually the doctor that helps deliver the baby. Takes care of the mom while the mother is pregnant to make sure the baby is good. Obstetrician. Yeah, uh, usually the obstetrician is for the mother and the baby while the mother is pregnant. After the baby is born, after the baby is born, and the baby goes to a doctor, what's the name of that kind of doctor? Specialist. Uh, what? Specialist. What kind of specialist? Uh, Who remembers? One. Uh, Start. No. That's for the that's for moms. That's for women. Gynecologist, a woman doctor. Delivery starts with a P. Hey, but uh, delivery specialist. But delivery. There you got it. There you got it. Oh, Proud of you, bro. Shut. Pediatrician. That's the person. The doctor for babies and for children. So if you have kids, you go to the hospital, you want to see a pediatrician, you go to pediatrics. Oh, pediatrics. There's going to be a pediatrician in. 
kid's doctor, pediatrician. What you were thinking of, the other word for the eyes, optometrist, ophthalmologist, opte, opte, eyes. Pediatrician, pediatrics. Okay. Uh, Okay, uh, do number five as well. If you want, if you'll take the size of the day, it won't be your circulatory system. Very good. We'll benefit. What is the circulatory system? Mm -hmm. Circulatory system. means it goes around and around and around. Blood? Blood. The blood goes through your veins. Okay. Uh, let's go here to number six in the back shake. If you, if you, if you will be in a good one, the blood pressure won't be too high. Okay. So what did you do in the first part? If you, if you, if you are if you are in a good mood. Yeah, if you are. Are in a good mood. Yeah. Yep. And the second your part? Blood will. Your blood will. Your, your blood will. Blood pressure will. Blood, blood pressure will. Right. Very good. Won't be too high. Yeah. Do we know blood pressure? Yeah. What do they do? See what's how strong your blood is going on. Do the next one also. Huh? If you visit the dentist, she she checks your teeth. Something's missing. You will. If 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 you are the, if you visit. Will what? Will check. Will check. Number eight, Mahamia. You will be healthy if you will eat another part. Again? You will, you will be healthy if you will eat another part. If you eat. Yeah. If you what? Eats. Eats. Can ask you about. If you eat. If you eat. Eat. No yes. S. Yes. You eat. He eats. She eats. Yeah. You if eat. You eat. Uh, what is fiber? Fiber. It's vitamin. Fiber is uh, foods that are not soft and mushy. Yeah. They like. Uh, crunchy things, fiber, um, like cereal, when you have cereal for breakfast, oatmeal has fiber in it. Um, notice uh, down here on part B, we need to, it tells us the verb we want in parentheses, and then we have to change the tense, present tense, future tense, present tense, future tense. Okay. Okay. Here's your number one. Or let's do the example. If you see a physicalist, he will ask why you are angry. I uh, say it again. If you see a Psychiatrist. Sorry? Psychiatrist. 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 Psychi
psychiatrist. 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 What is a psychiatrist? A doctor for mental problems. Psychiatrist, pediatrics, pediatrician. Okay, uh, next one. Uh, uh, have sure do number one also. You see a lot of children. Wait, wait, slow down again. You see a lot of children if you will become a Pediatrician. Now you change the verbs. If you will. switch them around. Which one gets future tense? If you will. So let's if start here. Really if you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was off. You. Yes. You will see a lot of children. You will see. A lot of children. If you are, if you are becomes, you don't need to do are becomes. Oh, sorry. If you are become. become present tense. Okay. If you become a a what? What's that word? Become a what? Pediatrician. 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 Okay, number two, Sean. If you run every day, you develop and you what? <laughs> Say it one more time for me. If you will run every yeah, uh, day. Uh, if you get run, if you run, run. present tense, if you run, if you run every day, you will develop endurance. Endurance, what does that mean? Endurance. Well, it could be, but endurance means you can do it a lot. Endurance. So, for example, endurance. You need to practice riding a bicycle. Okay. Anybody here ride a bicycle? Anyone here? Anyone here? Have you ever ridden a bicycle? How far can you ride a bicycle? Not too long. A long time. Five miles? No. Can you ride five miles? Yeah, yeah. Can you ride ten miles? No, no, no. Five miles. If you do five miles, five miles, five miles, then you say six miles, six miles, six miles, seven miles, seven miles. You will develop endurance. You can last longer. You can last longer. Endurance. Okay, next one. Uh, Sir so number uh, three. You learn. You what? You learn. Will. You will learn. Lower. Lower. Your blood pressure if you exercise regularly. Very good. Excellent. If you exercise regularly. Nitu up here, number three. Four. You will what? You will what? Um, What's the verb there? Um, increase. 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 Flexibility. 
Stretch. Stretch. Do you know stretch? Stretch. What does flexibility mean? You can move easily. Like a spring. Oh, I like that. Like a spring. Flexibility. Notice. Notice some people. Notice people when they walk. As they get older, they like that. No flexibility. So you, in order to keep flexibility, you must. What's this word? What am I doing? Stretching. Stretch. You must stretch. 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 Okay. If you see uh, the dummy, the dummy to make this, he lock will lock. Uh, he will lock at your right. Another doctor, boy, they're going to help us out here. What's this one? Dermatologist. What is that? For skin doctor. Skin doctor. Skin doctor. Dermatologist. What is a rash? Like itchy red on your skin? Rash. Where are we? Number uh, six. Does Lima? <coughs> Okay. One more time. You. What's missing? You will. You will have. Asthma. Asthma. What is asthma? Difficulty breathing. <laughs> Notice here it's got a TH in it. You don't hear it. Asthma. It's not asthma. It's asthma. Difficulty breathing. Asthma. Okay, uh, number seven. If you present tense, if you had you will need to go. You will need to go. Present tense after if. Then the future tense. Uh, what is a stroke? Stroke. Do we know that word? Stroke. Stroke. The stroke is when the blood is blocked in your in your brain. So your brain doesn't get any blood. So someone has a stroke, they pass out, and if they don't, don't get taken care of, they lose some things. They maybe not be able to see, maybe not hear, maybe they can't move their arms and legs, maybe die. Stroke. Uh, number eight, next one. Maroon, one more time. Okay. Excellent. 
Excellent. If you worry too much. Ulcer, what is that ulcer? Also, it's like cancer. <laughs> An ulcer means that your tissue, your, your skin, uh, it means that uh, if there's a hole in your skin or inside. So, for example, you can have an ulcer on your on your skin. It means like it's open, not like a cut, but it's open and and the blood is coming out a little bit, seeping. But an ulcer, they often talk about a stomach ulcer. That means in your stomach, your your the inside of your stomach is getting a little hole in it. And it can be very painful or start to bleed. Stomach ulcer. So sometimes people have to take an antacid to protect them from uh, getting worse. Um, you can get an ulcer from worrying too much. What does worry mean? Uh, worry. It means how you feel when you have problems. Oh, I'm so worried. My kids are going to school and they have to cross the street. I'm so worried. I'm so worried because something bad can happen. I'm so worried because I have a friend in the hospital may, that may get sick or die. I'm worried. So you feel very bad about it. Worried, a worried person. And the, the, the verb is worry. Okay. Okay. Uh, we have time for a short one. I'll save the long one for tomorrow. I I may have passed this up to some of you uh, last week. Take a look to see me. If I gave you. The one about tornadoes, yeah, 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 yeah. the one that is upside down, so tornadoes on page 92. Muhammad. Say, did you get one? Kiel has one. You got it? You go turn it on. Take a look. If you don't, then I'll just... Mira, do you have it? Here. Here. How about you guys back here? Yes? No. Yes? Okay, take a look at this.
in that direction, northeasterly direction. Where does it come from? From south. South what? South, south is north. South north. East. South east. South west. Southwest. Southwesterly. 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 Remember that? I put the direction. Middle. 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 West south. Middle. 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 So it goes to northeast, comes from southwest. Southwest. West of our directions, yeah. Uh, uh, next paragraph. Good here. Narrow. Within. Narrow. here the word path. The path is the place where it goes. So in this there's a path of where the tornado goes, but a path is also where people walk. People walk the same place over and over again. It's called the path where people walk. Uh, the next word there was rip up. It means violently tear up something rip on it. Pulls the trees out of the ground. Tornado through the states Missouri Illinois Indiana. 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 Uh, modem, modem weather, equipment, equipment. equipment. Now, next, it was all the people of tornadoes. Tornadoes people have a much there. But nothing can stop tornadoes from destroying everything in their boat. So the word swept. We know the word swept from like when you clean the floor, use a broom, to sweep the floor with a broom. Past tense is swept. Today I sweep, yesterday I swept. 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 Uh, we already did the word warn, remember, warning. You better, you better watch out when tornado comes, so 
How do you know if a tornado is coming? How can you tell? And the temptation? But what would be a sign a tornado is coming? The faster wind. We're here in this room. We're in here. How could we tell if a tornado is coming? Weather. How? Dark. Uh, Dark clouds. clouds. Why not? But also, what if what if a a uh, train was coming down Joseph Campo? What would it sound like? Sound. You, have you heard a train? <laughs> There's no trains here. So much sound. If you hear a train, uh oh. <laughs> Dark clouds. Yes, if you live in the city of Hamtramck, you will also have an alarm that goes off. That, that warning sound from the, we're very close here to the fire station, so we would hear that one. Woo! That means danger. Yeah. You will hear that practice every Saturday the first Saturday of the month. It will, you will hear that siren go off to check it to see if it's working. And if you don't hear that on the first Saturday of the month, call the mayor and say, hey, where's the siren? <laughs> now, we're in this building and we just heard about a tornado coming. What could, what could happen? What's the biggest danger in this room? What is most dangerous in here? Being in this room, when a tornado, tornado coming. Yeah, yeah. What what do you have to watch out for? The glass. Yeah. Broken glass. Broken glass hits you. Uh oh, oh. Uh, you bleed. So what do they tell people to do? If you're in your house, you go to the basement. Here in this building, remember last week you heard those guys downstairs doing stuff? There's a basement down there. And I think it holds quite a few people. So if we heard that, we would go into the basement. We would go down into the basement so that if the building if the tornado comes and takes our building and lifts it up and takes it to the other side of town, you don't want to be in it. You want to, you want to be in a place where the building goes, but you stay, and that's the basement. If you're in a building that doesn't have a basement, what do you do? What? Go outside? I don't know. You can. And some people go outside and they crawl on the ground. Yeah. A hole in the ground. Looking safely place. But in this building, because of the glass, glass here, if there was no basement, I would go over there on the other side for protection on that wall. The other thing, in your house, they often talk about the safest room in your house. What is the safest room in your house? <coughs> Besides the basement. Your bathroom. Closed. It's closed in. Walls on every side, close. No furniture, no chairs. Usually maybe a little window, not big windows. So they often say to go use the bathroom. Um, you know that Hamtramck in, in 1996 did have, I think I mentioned this, in 1996, Several tornadoes swept through Hamtramck and ripped up trees, took off chimneys. Do you know chimneys? 
What is a chimney? Anybody know the word chimney? In your house, where the furnace smoke comes out, it comes out of the chimney. It stands up on top of your house like this. The wind comes, boom, knocked it off. Tornadoes can be so tricky. It can come through and pick up your car off the street and throw it away, but leave a coffee cup next to it. If it hits it, if it doesn't hit it, no, it's like that. Very strange. It can be very, very powerful. Um, so let's go through these. Uh, vocabulary words and see if we can put these into one through eight. Let's put them in one through eight. I want to do this, so let's do it fast. We'll do it together. So, uh, Akil, number one. Probably Probably going to happen is what? 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 Which word means probably? Uh, Likely. 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 Yes. Number one. Akil, read number one for us. Something. Probably. Likely. Very good. Okay, Said, number two. Violent. Why do you think this What? Hey. Rip up. Rip up. Rip up. Rip up. Junction number three. Open this bottle. 
I have to twist the top off. Okay. In the back, shake. Number six. Is there, is there uh, of something bad before it is popping? Is there cold? Why? 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 Warned. 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 Number seven. A narrow way along which is some red with something movies is moves. It's called a what? It's called a book. When something happens, it is said to occur. Occur. Thank you. 